Um, it's, it's great to be here. And when um, Tuarak asked us to sort of participate and well, give you an overview of London, uh, we prepared a load of slides. Didn't realize it was going to be on at 3.20 in the afternoon. So you've just had lunch and everybody's tired. Um, but London and Partners essentially is the mayor's official promotional agency. Uh, our job is to promote London as a, a business hub, a tourism hub, uh, education hub. Uh, and one of those remits is Tech City and the promotion and the support to the growth of Tech City. Uh, but I've got, a, I've got a video here for you um, that gives you a quick overview. Can we play the video? It did work before. Sound? The starting point was much more about creativity and lots of different creative disciplines sort of falling together and focusing on technology as the output. I have actually found such an incredible team in East London and I, I think that they're some of the best in the world. In terms of access to talent, access to markets, access to capital, there isn't a better place uh, in Europe. And that's the opportunity for startups right now is to think about a marketplace of five billion people and to use London as the springboard to reach those markets. It's an amazingly vibrant place and it's full of great talent and it continually attracts great talent from all over the world. It really is an engine for innovation and for culture. So there's a lot of really innovative companies that started and are founded here. I can't think of anybody I've met in the world that wouldn't love the opportunities to spend time in London. We've been very fortunate to be able to connect the cultural strengths we have with an amazing policy environment and a really strong ecosystem now to support high growth technology companies. Turn the corner in London and you find something new and that's always a great thing and we're sort of discovering that with the people who come and want to use our technology is that they've all got brilliant and just unique ideas. We have a very well established creative culture. We have some of the best creative universities and arts facilities in Europe if not arguably the world. London, through Tech City, is really starting to get this global cachet of being the place where interesting and exciting things happen, and we feed off that. What we have here in London is very, very special. We lead in mobile. We lead in financial services. We're immensely proud here at Framestore of our work on Gravity. It's a great British success story. It's wonderful to have won seven Academy Awards and to have that recognition. I think London is an adventure every day and that's something that I find truly inspiring. Some of, the, some of the points highlighted there around why London is such a great place to be and to do business in terms of startups and more established companies is that, as in access, it gives you access to a global economy, uh, whether it be time differences, uh, accessing 99% of the world's GDP, you can do by overlapping in London. Um, in terms of universities and the talent, there's 23,000 students in London studying computer science. Uh, 45% of the workforce in London, it is not actually Londoners, uh, it's people from outside of London and internationally. In terms of Tech City and its growth over the last three to four years, it's grown 28% um, in the last four years. A testament to that is some of the, you know, you think of your Googles, your Facebooks uh, of this world, um, have the largest offices outside of America in London. Um, Google has just moved its HQ to King's Cross with 800 staff. Um, raising capital is always a challenge. Um, we've partnerships with, with some of these um, investments. We've raised $1.8 billion, which will be invested in startups over the next year. Um, so the access to a lot of that finance is there in London. How can we you know, make life easier for startups coming from Turkey, from Istanbul, 
um, is by working with us is we give you access to a lot of the networks. Um, we make life a lot easier in London in terms of one of the biggest challenges is office space in London. Um, the mayor has introduced a program called Touchdown, uh, which gives you access to an office space for about £99 a month, uh, which you'll find in terms of office space in London, that is ridiculously cheap. Um, in terms of success stories in London, where we're leading is open data, and having access to open data to launch successful businesses. So, for example, Zoopla, a property market um, um, uh, business, which acts as government open data to sort of to identify property prices and monitor. That's all free open, open data. The Open Data Institute is leading in terms of open data and access to open data. If you're ever in London, um, City Mapper is a, is a success story. It's an app that accesses government um, transport data from Transport for London um, to make your life getting around London a lot easier. Um, so if you're ever, you know, London should be, a lot of guys here were talking about thinking global and thinking big. London should be the location for that. Um, there's a lot of support in place and there's a lot of activity um, available and we can support you to access that and tap into the market internationally. So I'm, I'm around for the next couple of hours and happy to sort of, conscious I don't want to take up too much time, happy to speak to anyone uh, about London plans uh, and see where we can go from there. Thank you.